Hello there, Cancer. I'm Annette McKinley, and this is Intuitive Astrology and Tarot by Annette. I am here to do your love reading for June 16th through the 30th, 2018. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Um, I am running a special. My birthday is June 22nd, next week, Friday. And I'm running um, $10 off of a 30-minute reading. All of the information you need is below. You will need to email me to get that special and use PayPal. If you are outside of the United States, I can do Skype instead of a uh, regular phone reading. But this is uh, for um, a deal on the 30-minute uh, phone readings. Okay, so my gift to you for my birthday. Somehow I feel like it should be the other way around, but... Oh well. <laughs> so let's get started with your reading. Um, we're actually going to do things a little bit differently. I'm going to pull an oracle message out of the fortune deck and uh, then we'll uh, pull some tarot cards and then some Lenormand messages for you, Cancer. Thank you again. Um, we had over 1,000 views of um, the first part of June's reading for you guys. So thank you so much for all the love and support and all the um, the emails and the positive comments. I really, really appreciate it um, as a fellow Cancer. I love you guys. I love, I love my Krabby Patties. <laughs> my little crab cakes. <laughs> I'm going to call you guys my crab cakes. How's that? Okay, so let's see what Spirit wants to share with us in love from now until June 30th, 2018 for my little, my little Cancerians, my little crab cakes, my crabby patties. What will we have in our crabby little claws? What are we going to get our crabby little claws onto, huh? Okay, I need one message from the Oracle, please. What is the overall message for Cancer and Love? June 16th through the 30th, 2018, please, Spirit. Okay, so the spider, be meticulous and patient. So... This is actually a good thing. Um, I know a lot of us have been feeling a lot of impatience lately. I know I personally have. Um, and I always say Rome wasn't built in a day. And you have to allow um, divine timing to play out. And just, you know, be very careful in everything you do. If you're working with the law of attraction, if you set intentions with this new moon, in Gemini, which happened yesterday. Um, be very mindful of your thoughts, words, and actions because what you send out into the universe will come back to you. Um, so be careful about the type of energy that you're calling into you. Um, be patient if you're, you're waiting for things to manifest. You just need to hang in there, Cancer. Okay. Um, but don't be like the Black Widow. When she mates, she kills. <laughs> Do not be like the Black Widow. <laughs> All right, so let's see what's in the cards for us for, for June 16th through the 30th. I'm using the uh, a classic Marseille deck. An Italian deck. It's an Italian, so... What does Cancer need to know and love from June 16th through the 30th, please, Spirit? Tonight's Thursday, and I, I thought I would get these uh, readings done. I have to head out. I'm going to be at Shaker's Cigar Bar doing tarot readings. If you happen to be in the Milwaukee area and want to come on down tonight and, and have a reading with me, I will be there around 7 o'clock until 11 p.m. Shaker's Cigar Bar. Um, I am in the Milwaukee area. I love it here. It's my hometown, born and raised here. Okay, let's see what Spirit wants to share with us between June 16th and June 30th. 
Okay, so your first message is the Ten of Swords. Um, the, let's see, this is the world. Il Mondo. Mondo Biondo. <laughs> the High Priestess. Uh, two of Wands. Six of Cups. And the Emperor on the bottom. We have Two of Cups. Love, soulmates, completing a cycle, somebody from your past. This is really, really lovely, you guys. Oh my goodness. So yeah, you need to be meticulous and patient when it comes to the soulmate relationship. I feel this person uh, from your past is going to be coming back. Um, I have a lot of twos here. I've got the High Priestess, which is a two. We've got the Two of Wands, which is a two. We have the uh, Two of Cups. So I feel... Things are being um, brought into harmony, into balance. I feel like this is happening um, behind the scenes um, with the divine. I feel the divine is bringing the two of you back together. I feel a decision's been made. Um, somebody's going to take control and take action. Um, and I feel it's about time because we've got Ten of Swords energy here. This is just being done. The feeling of just you're done feeling um, betrayed, backstabbed, um, you're just done, you're toast, you're exhausted, you're mentally exhausted, you're about to break. You've reached your breaking point, Cancer, and that's why Spirit is asking you to please be a little more patient and you need to kind of, you know, let go of control and trust in divine timing. Um... Some of you may be suffering from some type of backache or back pain. Please take care of your backs. Go to the chiropractor if you need to. Some of us hold stress in our backs, neck, and shoulders. Um, so again, take really good care of yourself. Uh, but this has to do with more mental stress. Swords have to do with um, the mind, logic, communication, our thoughts. Um, it's air sign, energy, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Um, but this is just being done, and now it's time to pick yourself up and move on. And this cycle is complete because we have the world. Um, this is um, a new beginning coming after completing this cycle. It's an ending to this mental anguish, stress, heartache, betrayal, disappointment um, and it's time to pick yourself up now move on it's all done it's finished and you you know this is coming because we have the high priestess here now you could be dealing with another Pisces cancer Scorpio but this person keeps secrets they are um, very very intuitive could be psychic this could be someone who practices um, the occult um, a tarot reader, a psychic, a medium. Um, this could be you or someone else. We Cancers are very, very intuitive. Um, we tend to be very, very well um, spiritually connected with our higher selves. This is someone who meditates, um, prays, um, may practice kundalini, um, but they're very well aligned. This is mother made in crone type of energy. This woman or person keeps uh, secrets. Um, so I feel like after a period of just uh, trying to be very patient and just dealing with a lot of heartache, pain, and mental stress and anguish and keeping it to yourself and trying to be patient and just trying to meditate and heal yourself, this cycle is complete. Um, the Emperor is taking control. This is very masculine energy. You could be dealing with an Aries. 
Um, but I feel like this could also be someone from your past who's coming back in, who's taking control. They're going to take action and end this pain and suffering for you, Cancer. Or they may be suffering a lot, too, with holding on to whatever secrets they're keeping to themselves. They're going to put an end to it and take action to move things forward and bring this um, love relationship into balance with the Two of Wands and Two of Cups type of energy. You could be dealing, again, with a, with a fire sign person, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, this Two of Cups is water and fire signs coming together. Again, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, or you have it heavily placed in your chart, such as your Mercury, Jupiter, or Mars. You need to check your um, natal charts. Um, there's two lions here. This is Leo. Um, we also, um, so cups is water, Leo is fire sign. Um, this is a connection, spiritual connection. Um, this candelabra actually looks like the female reproductive system, where these would be fallopian tubes, these would be the uterus, um, two cups. So this is love, it's um, abundance, it's creativity, there's a deep connection there, physical, mental, spiritual, there's mutual attraction there, everything. Um, so I just wanted to point that out to you guys. Um, these cards are so beautiful. Two of Wands is uh, making a decision, twin flame type of energy as well. Um, bringing things into balance and making a decision. And this is someone from your past. We have Six of Cups here. Again, Water Sign Energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Someone's been um, thinking about the past, having really, really beautiful memories of what the two of you had and what you guys shared together and the deep love and just fun and, and just, this is true love. This is true, pure, innocent love, love at first sight. This could be someone that you've known for a while or someone that you've met before or you could have had many, many past lives together. And the emperor is going to come in and um, take action, take control over the situation and um, move things forward. This cycle is completed. So I hope this makes sense to you guys so far. Again, this is a general reading. You may or may not resonate if you'd like a more personal reading. Um, you can click below and uh, book a private reading with me. If you're in the Milwaukee area, um, if you want to come on down to Shakers tonight and have a personal reading with me, I am there from 7 until 11 o'clock. Um, otherwise, um, you can book through my website. Can I have three messages for cancer, please, in love? Three messages from spirit, please, around... This person from the past, the soulmate, twin flame connection that someone's been patiently waiting for. They've been waiting for action. They're at their breaking point. They can't take it anymore. They just want to be done. Okay, I had four cards just fly out. Okay. Five, six. Totally. Okay, so I've got one, two, three, four, five, seven cards came out. All right. Okay. Let me lay these out the way they should be. Okay, so it does tie in with the reading. Um, you will be getting some messages after a lot of um, silence and uncertainty. Um, you need to trust your intuition on this. Someone's also being guided by their intuition to reach out to you. They're, they're getting more aligned spiritually with, with their higher selves and with the divine. Action is going to be coming... Um, They've become very strong and stable, just like this emperor. 
and they're coming towards you. Um, the key is this communication. The key to ending this cycle and ending the suffering for you is this communication. We have a ship coming in and the sun is the primary card. Um, so the sun is joy, enlightenment. Um, it's equivalent to the um, Ace of Swords, which is truth, justice, victory. Um, so let me just show you these. So in the top row, we have sun, ship, and key. So this, this communication is coming towards you. There's an opportunity here. Uh, it will unlock the secrets. It brings enlightenment. So whatever someone's been keeping from you is going to be brought to light. They're going to basically speak their peace, speak their truth. We have fish, bear, and birds. So they're coming towards you. This is opportunity coming your way. This is strength, being the bear, being strong and grounded. And birds are communication through the air. So you could be getting like a text message from this person or email or through like messenger or something. And then we have the moon, which is using your intuition, emotion, it's really tied in with our High Priestess card. Okay. So someone is using their intuition. They're going to take action. Coming towards you with some type of message. Somebody from the past. Your soulmate. Possibly your twin flame. It's up to you whether or not you want to hear them out. Hear what they have to say. But please be compassionate. Be kind. Remember karma. You've been very patient, Cancer. I know you've, somebody's just at their breaking point. They've been carrying this burden around for a while. It's not, now it's time to spill the beans and get past the cycle. Let the cycle end and it's time for a new beginning. So please let me know what you guys think. Um, thank you again so much for your love and support. And um, until next time, namaste.